Hello my friends, Jeff here from Pelham's Aquatics. Going a little outside of what I've been doing lately, I've been doing just mainly uh, live streams, but I'm actually gonna make a video and uh, something that really has been uh, taking me by storm here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're gonna be doing here. I will tell you right now, it has to do with plants, so stay tuned. Now in this aquarium here is a 20 gallon long. Um, as some of you may know, I've been getting into the plants a little bit and I got some of these uh, Ludwigia, I believe this is Ludwigia repens, I could be wrong. Um, I know that I got these from Mark Shelley Aquatics and if I'm not mistaken, I think, it, I think he said Ludwigia repens. So as you can see, um, this will go way above the water line. When I first put this plant in here, it was a smaller um, about down to here where my finger is and now it's grown away up there and right now there's some snails at the end of these that's why they're kind of bent over the snails get on there and kind of weigh them down so they just kind of bend over toward the uh, bottom of the tank so what I want to do is if you can look closely here you can see right here that's a what's called an aerial root and I've been doing some studying and uh, research about how to propagate these and that way I can cut these and make more plants out of them so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to cut this I want to get it so I can get like I got to kind of move that snail right there out of the way um, and then I'm going to snip it right between the nodes and that way I'll have a aerial root I added some more uh, substrate in here and I'm going to put a uh, root tab down in the center of this down deep and I'm gonna plant a couple of them over here hopefully it turns out all right so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the trimming and see how it goes before we do the actual trimming I'm going to show you the tools that I had been acquiring over the last few years um, I got a nice pair of uh, tongs here to put the plants in and then I got these curved shears here I'll be using those to make the cut and I'm going to do this one-handed so we'll see how it goes uh, I got a lot of this uh, Ludwigia so hopefully if I make a, bit, a big mistake it won't be too big of a mistake but as I see right here um, I got a nice aerial root oops there we are a nice aerial root right there so I'm going to snip it right there Okay, and it kind of floats up. Let me see now if I can get this with the tweezers here. Yeah, there we go. A lot of uh, Aquarius make this look really easy, but for somebody who's new like me with the uh, aquatic plants, it's not as easy as all that for me. So what I want to do is I want to get it away from that other plant there. Let's get it right down in here. I may have to use my hands because that's what I use for the other ones. And, but I want to be able to learn how to do this so I don't have to put my hands deeply in the tank all the time. Okay, I think the snails are weighing this down. Yeah, get off there, guy. Try and be gentle with them. I don't want to hurt anybody here. Come on, guys. Well, I'm sure they'll get off when they're good and ready uh, off this plant. So we got one in. And I'm hoping, you know, I don't know if I should, that little offshoot there off to the right, that's got some little uh, aerial roots too. So let's go ahead and I'm going to try and get that one too. It'll be a smaller see if I can do this. Are you guys enjoying the content? If so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And now let's get back to our program. Careful. <laughs> I'm trying to do better YouTube videos, guys, because, uh, well, for one thing, you guys deserve it. And I need to start documenting. I mean, I do a lot of stuff down here in the fish room but I haven't been documenting anything by doing any videos, so I'm trying to 
remedy that. Let's try right here. All right, whoops, I think I might have got a leaf along with it. There it is up there. All right, and see if we can get this little guy down here in the foreground. Can go in there for me? There we go. Okay, so got that. Then, we have another one here that's pretty long. Um, are these snails on here? I don't know if I can get them. Yeah, well, they're not eating the plant, but they like to hang out and eat algae off the plants. So I'm just gonna let them go with that. I'm get the, uh, the scissors. Of course, the Blue Star Endlers are very fascinated with what I'm doing here. They're like, oh, some activity finally. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to find the aerial roots. I'm just gonna use this to prop it up a little bit so I can get a better look. Yeah, I think right about in this area. I see some nice, there we go. Yeah, nice aerial roots. You can see them right there. Let's see how that goes. Get that one. Let's get this guy and get the root down in there. Let's get, whoops, off the side here a little bit. Let's see if you're going to stay in there for me. Oh, get in there. I removed some of the snails by hand, but there still wants to curve down for some reason. It's been bent over for such a long time because of the ram's horn snails. Let's see if I can gently Miyagi this one here. He doesn't want to come off there right now, but that's all right. So let's see what we did here. I uh, managed to get a nice cut there. It looks like we're going to have some more offshoots up here. And then I cut that one down, which was uh, going way up. Let me know in the comment section, guys, if, if you know. I mean, it's all trial and error for me, basically. It's all one big experiment when it comes to the... Uh, the live plants. Um, so far, I think once that kind of maybe writes itself, maybe reaches up toward the light, uh, once the snails go on a little vacay. Um, but hey, I don't think it looks too bad myself, really. I mean, that's the first time I've ever propagated a plant other than hornwort or java moss. So this is another uh, one small step for uh, Pelham's Aquatics and one giant leap for my uh, fish room, I guess. <laughs> Not to sound too corny about it, but it's a big deal to me. Yeah. I could probably trim this one up a little better. There's another off to the side there going out that way. I don't know. I'm just going to go with this right now and see how it, how it pans out. I really like the looks of that little one there in the foreground. And yeah, the one there is nice and red. The ram's horn snails love it. They, they're on here cleaning these plants off all the time. Just really enjoying the plants, guys. And then over here, I'm not going to do anything in this tank, but you can see I have the same thing. Well, this one is really tall. I mean, it goes up to the top and then it drapes over toward the back of the aquarium. And then I got some of the hornwort just floating in here also. And I got the java moss. It's kind of anchored down there with the java moss. But uh, yeah, the plants really make a nice aquarium. I'm, I'm gonna make a pretty, uh, a pretty tank, <laughs> so to speak. I'm gonna really try my best here coming up. And I think what I'm gonna do is I have a, uh, an, 
another new 40 breeder that I think I'm going to dedicate is mainly a planted, uh, planted tank. Um, I was thinking, I was tossing over the idea of doing a Wallstead method aquarium, um, but I'm really not, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that now. I'm, I don't know. There's so many different ways to do it. I have a big bag of the uh, Seachem fluorite, which is also a nice substrate for planted tanks. This right here is just the uh, black diamond blasting grit that you get from Tractor Supply. I think I got a 50 pound bag for, I think it was like $11 with tax and everything. Um, and I, I got well over half the bag left. I got, I used it in this tank. I used it in this other 20 gallon tank over here. And then I used it in my uh, 10 gallon tank where the killifish are. And uh, I have an update coming up on them guys pretty soon too. They're really looking great. But yeah, this is coming along pretty good. Oh, but the female Chinoides is paying us a visit out here. Got the, uh, my wild type bettas in here. They've been doing some spawning activity. In fact, you can see the male right there between the plants. He's the bright red guy. And he's uh, displaying for the female right now. Yeah. This turned out to be a plant video, but it might end up, uh, you know, plants and fish. But looking here, it's like good timing, it looks like. Oh yeah, he's trying real hard to uh, entice her into breeding. But I don't want to make this a 10 minute video or a 15 minute video. Just If I can catch some footage on that later, I'll maybe, uh, when I go to the editing uh, phase of this, I'll go ahead and add it in here. But yeah, you can see how long some of these aerial roots are. I mean, I could probably even trim it down even more and get more plants. It'd be nice to have like a whole forest of these in here. Um, I was thinking that would be really nice for the bettas. You know, they have a, a lot of uh, plant cover and of course the Blue Star Rendlers, they, they love everything. Got a little bit of hornwort floating up here. And what used to be uh, at hornwort there, I took out of the one of the tanks that got ravaged by scuds, but I figured that, you know, all it takes is a very little bit of that to keep going and then I have some of my uh, pearl weed that survived and it seems to be doing all right I'm hoping that gets bushy I, I had it in another tank and I had like a big basketball mound of it but it has to get over here in the light to do that so I might get one of those rings and put that in there and, and station it right underneath the light so it gets the, the right proper amount of lighting it needs because that pearl weed is really stunning when it gets bushy use the water spots guys. I clean this off and then I do some work in here and by the time I get my camera out again the spots are back but I try to I try to keep it clean anymore. So well there there you have it you know you got a newbie to plants and you've seen what how I uh, how I did this so let me know uh, if I did anything wrong and what you would do differently and it would always be helpful to me to hear from more experienced aquarists and, and their plants. So thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great weekend. Helms Aquatics, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.